Many folks flock to buffets for the loads of food you get at a reasonable price, right? But one restaurant had lots of other things in the kitchen not listed on the menu, including live roaches, rodents, and flying insects. We show you what's really going on in tonight's Dirty Dining Report. Great food. You like this, it? this is awesome. Freshly cooked every every day. Since it opened, Laura Wilson has been coming to Teppanyaki Grill and Supreme Buffet on 34th Street North in St. Petersburg and says employees keep the place pretty clean. The way they bring the food out and the way they keep it, the floor clean inside the dining room area and everything, it is just awesome. Not so awesome, what inspectors found the other day. Did you know, though, that the restaurant was shut down recently? No, I didn't. On April 24th, the state made Teppanyaki Grill temporarily close after seeing over 55 live roaches. So they wrote up quite a few violations. Did you, were you surprised? Did you know that the kitchen was in? I didn't know that, you know? Kevin Jen has been the manager at Teppanyaki Grill for the last year. They shut you down for about 17 and a half hours. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so you cleaned everything? I cleaned everything, yeah. But it wasn't just dozens of live roaches inspectors discovered in the kitchen. The rodent problem, you had uh, 22 droppings under the prep table near the canned goods. That was also... That is also we cleaning everything. Jen walked us around the buffet stations, explaining how they keep all the food safe to eat. So do you check the temperatures constantly to make sure that they're right? Just very high, you can see that the burn. But that wasn't the case last month when inspectors say tofu used in the miso soup was at a temperature that could make customers sick. Can you show us the kitchen? Sure. Jen took us behind the kitchen door, showing us the fixed dish machine, which wasn't sanitizing in December, costing the restaurant a $600 fine. So they adjusted the sanitizing level uh -huh. to make sure yeah. it worked. Right. Sometimes usually night, morning time, I come here, I build it, I check it out, it okay. But we observed other violations documented by inspectors recently still not fixed, including raw chicken thawing in standing water, raw beef sitting out, and food not protected from contamination. But Jen believes his restaurant is now safe to eat at. So no more problems, right? Yeah, no more problems. No Guaranteed it, yeah. To see other dirty dining stories, head to our website at abcactionnews.com. And if you have a tip on a dirty restaurant, head to my Facebook fan page under Wendy Ryan WFTS. Like my page and send me a note.